Hello everyone, welcome to Tutorials Point. In this video, we will be talking about some of the important characteristic features of the group of organisms which are called lichens. So let's see what are the different characteristic features of this group. This is uh, remains in a mutual association between each other. So the fungal and the algal component, they remain in a mutual symbiotic association with each other. So how this works? The fungal component, they perform three major important functions. What are those? The fungus actually provides the basic body structure and covering for the lichens. So fungus, it actually provides a surface area where this type of lichens can exist. It also helps in the anchoring of this lichens into some surfaces like tree barks and all those areas like rocks and tree barks. These are the areas where these type of lichens are found. Now this attachment happens because of the presence of fungus. Also the fungal component helps in absorption of water and also the absorption of minerals. So these are the major functions played by the fungus in case of lichens. Now let's see what the alga is performing. The algae performs photosynthetic photosynthesis. So these are the photosynthetic components of the lichens. So they can perform photosynthesis which means they can perform or make food. So alga uses water and minerals from these uh, fungus and in turn the fungus uses a part of the food made by the algae. So we can understand. So this is a mutual understanding or a mutual relationship which is known as a symbiotic association. Now let us see how these type of lichens can increase its number or multiply. There is a progressive death and decay. It can result in the separation of the lichens into two or more parts because of certain factors it can separate into two or more parts and hence they can slowly those parts can slowly increase in size and number and hence it can multiply. A second uh, fact which can happen is the fragmentation because of certain mechanical injury what happens parts of these type of lichens it separates out from the parent organism because of this separation what happens these separated fragmented parts they can give rise to a new organism. So this is where uh, due to fragmentation the uh, organisms can increase its number. Now by the formation of Icedia what happens these are nothing but superficial growth outgrowths of the lichens some of the outgrowth happens in case of lichens which are primarily meant for increasing surface area if it needs to increase its surface area because of which the photosynthetic activity because in order to uh, absorb sunlight it has to increase its surface area the, because of which it makes certain structure which are known as the Icedia these are outgrowths and hence it can increase the growth uh, happens in case of lichens. Also certain structures known as the Soradia these are the microscopic lichen propagules which are produced in large numbers inside certain structures which are known as the pistils in which is present inside the lichens. So these are the ways in which the lichens can multiply. So in this video we have talked about certain characteristic feature of the lichens. What are the roles played by fungus and how algae helps in the lichens. Also we have discussed how these type of lichens can multiply or increase its size and number. I hope you have understood and like this video. Thank you.